Hello friends! Today I just wanted to make a really quick fun video showing you all the things I got at TechoCon. I made a full length video covering TechoCon and I showed one of the dresses that I got in that video which is my Lady Sloth dress. Today I'm wearing an Otaku, 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 it's a playoff otaku, I don't know why I can't say that brand <laughs> dress that I was given by Callie, their designer. I really want to make a Manhara style lookbook and that's the reason why she gave it to me was to use in that video so stay tuned for that. I purchased a few things at TechoCon but I was also gifted so many things and I'm terrible and I can't keep track of all of it. I really should have taken notes, but every time I was given a gift, I thought like, oh yeah, I'll remember, like, because I got this one gift and like, I'm not getting anything else, like, I'll remember, and then <laughs> I was so overwhelmed, so much, thank you. Uh, let's start off with this beast, this big boy, this perfect boy. I've named him Uncle Chonker. <laughs> Two lovely individuals came to my signing, but I also ran into them beforehand. We took Purikura photos together, and they gave me this Rilakkuma fuzzy chubby plush, and I love it so much. I love him so, so much. I'm obsessed. I've always wanted a fuzzy Rilakkuma, and he works great as like a pillow. It was funny because on the flight back, I had a, a crossbody like laptop bag and I strapped him into it. So I was just wearing him like a baby <laughs> across me going through the airport. They also gave me Cheez-Its and I ate all of them. When Holly and I got back from Teco, we were really exhausted. We spent the day that we got back in bed watching Game of Thrones and just eating Cheez-Its. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm going to move on to these next two pieces of artwork that are phenomenal. I showed the girl who gave this to me in my video. I am so obsessed with this. I'm really happy to hear that people liked this look. I really want to do more spooky looks and I'm definitely going to get a frame for this. Thank you again. Thank you so much. And then this one, thank you for putting your Instagram on this. It's uh, from Apple Wifey and it's Holly and I, and it says, welcome to Pittsburgh. And I'm gonna get a frame for this and probably put it on our door because I really, really love this. I've really been wanting art of Holly and I, and this I wanna put on our door because it's the two of us, and it's like a great memory of our first time in Pittsburgh together. And I absolutely love this art. I don't know if everyone got these or if it was just guests and VIP, not sure, but the staff made these Really cute wands, which I love so much. These scepters, they're perfect for Lolita. I, they're just so fun. I really want to hang them like the way that people hang swords, just like mount it to a wall, but then also use these for more coordinates. This ring was from Robin or Hello Mermaid and I, I think she made it. It's a really cute deco ring. It's really nice because it's just glittery and really classic, so you can really wear it with any coordinate. Thank you so much, Robin. I don't know who gave this to me, but it is a really cute hair clip, and there's actually instructions in K-Club on how to make these. K-Club is a new fashion, J Fashion zine that is created by Kit and Callie, and Callie is the designer of Otaku, which I'm wearing. And I'm really, really happy to see physical zines of J Fashion. I kind of, I want to make a video kind of going over all of this. It's really helpful and entertaining and just, just crazy inspiring. And there's an article with Daniel and I got him to sign it. I showed that in my Teco video, him signing it right there. So cute. I can't wait to see more of their articles and more of their issues and see what other things they cover. Bless whoever gave me these masks. There was one mask that I was gifted that I already used and it was a bubbling mask and I didn't realize that. And I put it on thinking that it was a regular sheet mask and it just started like exploding all over my face. <laughs> but it was really nice. My skin felt really good afterwards. I'm really excited to use all of these masks and I double checked and there's no melon in them. So I don't know if that was just a coincidence or if you knew ahead of time not to give me anything with melons. So I'm so appreciative of that. I am allergic. Puvithel gifted me this Our Lady of Salt, Salty Rejects, Salty Seconds? Salty Seconds pin. It's last week Luda News and Puvithel's first collaboration together. And this was kind of a misprint because there's like these really tiny, tiny specks in it that were supposed to be 
I think drilled through, but they were accidentally printed green. It's very, very unnoticeable, and I just think that it's really funny to have salty seconds. <laughs> These pins and the actual release that has a dangle as well are available on Pubithel's site now. I just love this religious style Tyler. <laughs> I'm gonna wear this and represent her all over the place. I would love to have a prayer candle with this image on it. I think that would be really cool. I would love to use it in like a Lolita Horror Stories intro. Pubithel also gifted me this gay agenda <laughs> pin which is great, she gifted them to Holly and I. Callie almost made me cry because she gifted me these brand whore rings, which are from Deerstalkers, and she had seen my Deerstalkers react video and she did not have a purpose for these anymore, and I absolutely love these. I'm definitely gonna sneak this into Lolita Horror Stories intro, and probably other videos too. I'm hoping to be able to do more scripted parodies and comedies over the summer. There's so much, I'm so overwhelmed. I bought this from the Angelic Pretty booth. It's so cute, it's a bear in a frame, and I debated it for quite a while because it was 50 USD, which is quite a lot. But it is handcrafted, and if you look, there's like this tiny little bow, which had to be handmade, and this little face had to be hand put in and it is like a sturdy metal piece. It's, I'm so glad that I got it. I knew that if I didn't get it, I would regret it. And I can't wait to wear it. I think that I can wear it in Lolita, like maybe with honey cake or with my denim meta telephone skirt. And I also think that I can wear this in non Lolita ways too. I have some bear dresses and bear things. I'm really excited. Someone gifted me this uh, Rilla, Kurilakuma. Kurilakuma in a cat suit, Kurilla kitty. It's adorable. I don't know where I want to put it. I'm so excited. I get to put all this stuff away now that I filmed it. I get to find a cute little home for this guy. Someone came to my signing. I don't know if I have video of it. I really hope that I do. But they gave me this little bee Rilakuma. And I cannot express how much I love this little bee Kuma. I don't know what it is about it. I just look at it and I'm so happy. It has little beans in it. And it's just like so chubby and so little and its face is so serious. They said that they got it for me at a cute gift store and they said that it reminded them of me and partially because of the Bee Lita. <laughs> BTS stickers! <laughs> BTS stickers. Oh, can't wait to use these. All the Jimin's. So cute. Is there RM? Yeah, RM. BT21 buttons. The staff at Teco gave me this amazing thank you card and everyone signed it. It's really adorable and sweet. I'm gonna look at this anytime that I'm feeling sad. Danielle made me this card and thanked me for talking about my steamer, which I find hilarious. I'm so glad that talking about my steamer helped. The tea party also gave us these little rosettes, which are adorable. Oh my God. <laughs> Moss Badger made me this rosette with Rilakkuma and Kurilakkuma in it, and I love it so, 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 so much. It's a two-way clip, and I can wear this with Lolita. I can wear this on a daily basis. I can put this on a Rilakkuma or Kurilakkuma. I'm obsessed with this. It's just so pretty. The colors are so perfect and so me. Thank you so much. I don't know if she wants me to use her real name on the internet. But I remember how to say your real name. I was one of the few people that said her real name correctly, so. Daniel gave me his Poobythel collab pin. Everybody has a collab with Poobythel. Poobythel. What's up? Is this creepy? Is this believable? I'm really happy that Daniel gave me this because I really want to wear it and represent him and just support him. I love Daniel Creepy so much and I love his music. I really want to do an over the top crazy colorful look with this pin. Poopy Fell also gave me this pin which says at least it's not me or it's not me and I don't know if I should censor that out or not but you you get the idea at least it's not a certain convention that sucks. I love this I'm gonna wear this low-key anytime I'm grumpy at a con <laughs> so if you see me wearing this probably grumpy probably having a bad time. Okay so I also don't know if she wants me to use her 
real name. A Gato Designs gave me these pins which say bury me in brand and shade. I'm obsessed with them so much. They're so perfect. They're cute and sassy. Someone who came to Tyler and I's signing gifted us Maria. Maria came to our signing and gifted Tyler and I the so sweet one for me and then gave Tyler the salty one which is really really sweet and I'm really happy that we can like wear them and make videos at the same time and like hint to one another that's our brand so sweet so salty it's very very humble and her work deserves so much attention. It's so good. I love all of it. It's just really, really perfect. I think that all of you should go check them out. She also gifted me the sticker that says Kawaii Trash, and there's another one that says Salty somewhere. A salty sticker. In the personalized gifts that I showed in my Teco video, the staff gave me this Rilakkuma um, remint, as well as a cup. Uh, teacup and saucer, which I love very much. In my Teco video, you can see me pulling out earrings and I'm making a face like, because those earrings were for Holly and I was just giving her a hard time. Like, she's so predictable, she's so goth. Someone made her coffin earrings and they're really cute. Holly got me this ditto necklace from Cami, AKA Minty Mix. It's so cute, it's so perfect. I'm obsessed with it, it's little face. It's so goofy. It's a really satisfying material and it's just chonky and cute and perfect. I'm not sure if Holly bought these stickers or if Cami threw them in, but there's also Ditto stickers and a Dinosaurs sticker and then Minty Mix and Minty Mix postcard. I really love the accessories that Minty Mix has been branching out and making. They're all really goofy, really, really cute, really nostalgic. I've already worn this a few times, but I've been keeping it with all of this stuff so that I could show it on camera, and now I'm excited to just fully wear it all the time. <laughs> I think that covers my Teco haul. Thank you so much, everybody who gave me things at Teco. Thank you, everybody who came out to Teco. This event was one of my favorites. It was such a great experience to have. I, it really made me believe in conventions again. I'm so sorry that I am really bad at keeping track of everybody's usernames and names. If you gifted me something, please comment below your Instagram. I will share these on an Instagram story so that people will get the proper credit where credit is due. Thank you so much again, everybody. Stay lovely.